Hey guys, and welcome back to Angel Education YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about transferring um, to another university whilst you're already studying um, at an undergraduate uh, degree. So if you're currently a student uh, at a university, you're not 100% happy with where you are. You missed the boat, maybe you were messing around at school, and now you're much more switched on, but you, you, you're not at a university that you feel does you justice. Keep watching. <laughs> Okay, guys, I get this question all the time and my colleagues across NG Education, um, you know, we get asked very often, hi, uh, hi, Sunny, um, I'm at X University, but, you know, I've got these amazing A-level grades or I've done really well in my SAT and the APs, but I'm at university rank number 73 when, you know, people who are stupider than me are at university and I'm, you know, rank number 12 or someone's at Oxford or someone's at UC UCLA or at Stanford, um, you know, can you help me transfer? Um, how does this work? So the short answer is yes, it is possible to transfer. It is, however, quite difficult and there are a lot of issues there. Um, and by the way, guys, if you want me to address a specific question that you have about your application, the best way to do that is to tweet me. Uh, just tweet me with your question and uh, I reply to most um, to most of the tweets. Um, so uh, that's the best way to, uh, to reach me to, to help you with your specific question. Okay, um, in terms of the... Um, transfer process, it works differently in the UK and in the US. Let's start with the US because it's a more well-established system. Generally speaking, US universities are open to transfer applicants to join most universities either in second year, so you need to apply in your first year of your existing university that you're not happy with, and you apply to transfer for second year start at this university where you, know, where you want to move. Some universities also accept students into their third year um, uh, but it depends and the best thing is just to check, uh, you know, just to Google the name of the university, um, X University, Harvard University transfer applications um, and generally websites are pretty good and they explain the whole process. Uh, but as a summary, the same deal, you still have to write essays, uh, you still have to uh, show your scores, uh, you know, your SAT, ACT if that university um, requires it. Um, you still have to submit transcripts, although this time you will be submitting university, your college transcripts, as well as your school transcripts in some cases. So again, read the requirements. Um, you still need the references and uh, you still need that amazing CV to convince uh, the university that you deserve a place there. Um, unless you put in real work and make a tangible difference to your profile, to your application, unless you have stellar references really pushing for you, um, significantly better universities are not just going to accept you just because you're reapplying. And if you think that oh, well, I failed to get into Stanford um, in the first round. Let me let me reapply and, and, you know, because I'm trying again, so my chances double. Doesn't actually work that way. So unless you do the work and significantly improve your application, you've got significantly more to offer, you, you're just going to be rejected just like you were the first time. So you need to have, you know, approach this carefully and have a think how you're going to position yourself um, and uh, what you're going to do there. Now, in the UK, uh, works differently because there are no formal transfer proceeds at most universities. So generally speaking, in the UK, definitely uh, across the, the top universities, if you're currently studying at another university in the first year, you rarely can transfer into a second year uh, at this university. Most universities will tell you, listen, you either reapply, so you, you reapply from scratch, how many years you were studying at another university have been wasted, you reapply, you start with everybody else in the first year, or um, alternatively, is you finish studying where you are um, and you apply for master's. Uh, and this is something also applicable to you guys um, thinking of transfer applications in America. It may be worth that you just sit, sit tight where you are, focus on your studies, uh, build amazing relationships with your professors, really to elevate your CV to the next level, have a fantastic transcript with really solid grades, and then apply for master's. Um, you know, well well in advance and have a really strong application there rather than divert your energy on this transfer application uh, that statistically um, is unlikely to work uh, unless, again, you've got something really meaningful to offer uh, and this school that you're applying to for transfer is willing to take you. So um, in the UK, in most cases, basically you just have to redo the entirety of UK's application and we have a lot of content on our YouTube channel about that. Um, do, you know, do check it out. Um, however, uh, some universities may be open to accepting you into their second year 
UK universities rarely put this, put this information on, on their website. So I recommend you manually emailing admissions uh, with your transcript, with your CV, with your situation, uh, uh, having conversation with them, seeing if they might be willing to uh, to take you. There are a couple of universities in the UK that are a bit more flexible, such as Buckingham um, and a few others. Uh, so do check them out. But again, you'll need to speak to admissions um, and discuss this with them to see what they say. So uh, hope it all works out, guys. Um, just remember the systems for the UK, for the US are different. Um, unless you, you're having a significant boost to your CV, to your application, it is pointless. So, you know, if you're doing this, you, you really need to commit, put in the effort. Otherwise, it's a waste of your time and money. Um, all the best with it. If you want to reach me, uh, um, drop me, drop me a message, uh, put me in a tweet on Twitter. And otherwise, all the best and take care. Cheers.